a graphic which is developed from an idea which we are transferring now into a graphical representation which we'll be able to read and then interpret and carry out the different activities on site which is very important. Good everyone, you're watching Makoka Enterprises. Today's topic is so, so interesting, so we get to understand how to read electrical drawing. And then you we need to understand as well that we have different electrical drawings. We might be working in a construction site. We might be working um, which is either a residential building or uh, a commercial building. And then also we might be working um, in an, an industrial facility also. So we have different type of drawings that we need to understand how to read. And then for the purpose of this lesson, we are going to be discussing more on how to read and interpret electrical building drawings or electrical building layouts. So I'll first by defining or explaining what is an electrical drawing or what is a drawing or what is a design or what is um, a blueprint so it's um, a design idea or concept transferred into a graphical representation which will be interpreted for execution of work on site this is very important so we come up with um, a graphic which is developed from an idea which we are transferring now into a graphical representation which we'll be able to read and then interpret and carry out the different activities on site, which is very important. And then also we will understand that while we are working in the field, we have different types of drawings based on the different services that should be installed in that building, which is very important. So we might be talking of either small power systems, lighting, fire alarm, BMS, which is a building management system, as well as lighting control system, public address system, CCTVs, and camera system and then um, while we have these different services the concept will be the same but again we will interpret these drawings in a different way on the different systems so um, we will now dive into the different points that we have to take into consideration while reading the drawings or how to read the drawings this lesson will be focusing more on the theoretical aspect I'll do again another video where we are going to be doing this live. Practically, we get to understand how to read the drawings, how to analyze, see the different circuits, and then you carry out the job on site. So the first point is going to be be able to read the architectural layout of the block wall drawings. This is very important. The reason why I focus on this point, which is a preliminary, is that we need to understand exactly where we are. Supposing that you're working as an electrician, an apprentice, your engineer, or probably a supervisor asks you to go to site. I want you to work in this area. Maybe work in room number one, maybe work in room number two, in the sitting area, the balcony, and all that. So while you are going to site, you need to understand how to interpret the block work drawing or the architectural drawing so that you go to site, you know exactly where you are working. This is very important and mandatory for you to be able to understand how to read electrical drawings. So when you are able to, to understand where you are, for example, they put you on site, you might have a big project or a high-rise building where you are, you, you are in a particular location and they give you a drawing now saying that point me the location that you are standing right now so you should be able to point out that location where you're standing this is the number one uh, uh, preliminary into you moving further to understand how to read electrical drawings we now move to the second point which is going through the legend um, often legends are placed on the right side of your different layout so you go through this legend this is to aid you to understand the different symbols which are written there so that while you're reading the drawings, you know the symbols represent this. This symbol represents this. Say, for example, you're going through the lighting. You'll be able to see the different light types. Maybe in this area, we have this light type. In this other area, we have a different light type. So that when you look at it, you'll be able to identify this light. This is the meaning of this light. This is Chandelier light, which is written as per the legend. 
this is L1 life, which is written as per the legend. And then also all the different routines as well. As they keep moving, you'll be able to identify the different colors as well, which will tell you this color of this line. It's uh, for maybe PVC wires or PVC cable or perhaps a DALI cable for lighting control system and so forth. So you'll be able to check now the legend, understand all the different details so that while you're reading the drawing, you know exactly what are the different symbols that have been used in that drawing, which is very important. So we'll move to the third point, which is identify the circuit reference associated to the different circuit. This is very important. So we are, if we are talking of lighting, lighting systems, small power systems, um, equipment powers as well, uh, we will be having different circuits, such as maybe we have a DB, which have different ways, and then we have maybe a three-phase supply, which is RYB phase in the case of Qatar or in the case of um, uh, the British standard. So looking at the different phases on the drawing as well, it will be represented as probably R1 circuit, R2, R3, R4, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, and then we have them as they keep going based on the number of ways of that distribution board. And then while we are reading the drawings now, we should be able to identify this circuit reference is going for this particular location. And we'll be able to pull that same uh, type of cable, either Y1, we now pull only the yellow um, wire, and then including now the feed, the neutral, and the earth, which is yellow green, is very important. So that while we are executing the work on site, we know exactly what we are doing. And then as such, when we pull our wires, we should be able to provide labeling or identification labeling. A temporal marking is okay. Get a masking tape, put it there, and then write the secure reference as per the drawing so that while you are proceeding with the installation work, you might finish with the cable pulling. You want to now stumble into start doing continuity and maintenance. You should be able to identify different circuits that you pull. Why you're carrying out your test, you know, the different circuit which you are carrying the test is important. So, we move now to the fourth point, which is read as well the low schedule or the SLD, low schedule and the SLD to confirm or to know the size of cables and also the wires to be pulled. This is very important. So, we might have our drawings which are the legend, some might not write the legend, mean that this is of cable or the size of cable that needs to go for a circuit you now go to schedule go to single line diagram you, sh you should go to grow and understand what is the circle the cable everything will go down the load to this button so we should be able to make sure that we get out the load schedule put together and the sld so that while we are reading our drawings we know how to interpret to carry out the execution of work on that button so make us to be able to have a bigger picture how to reason when we are out of interpreting the drawings so that you go through the layout you get the loose schedule you get the sld you put them all together while you're reading your your layout you go through the loose schedule as well to identify the different circuit reference does it match with the layout and then also you check as well the size of the cable or the size of the wire so that while you're pulling you know that what you're doing is correct and then perhaps maybe you're doing um continuity and mega test while you're doing this test you go through your low schedule as well, you compare with the layout, you check the single line diagrams as well. Make sure all of them are matching, which is very important. If they are not matching, you have to raise consent towards that. It's very important. See, then you're watching Macoga Enterprises.